G'day guys, this is Chris King and welcome to a two to five minute explainer video on a, a new soccer drill. So all these you can use at your training sessions. Um, everything that I talk about here are aimed at grassroots coaches. So everyone from parents to first year coaches to anyone that hasn't done any training courses that wants a bit more information. Um, that's what all my drills are aimed at. Okay, so let's get into it. I'll share my screen and that's what we're after. Okay, so this is a, a rondo. I'm going through my uh, first book, which is Soccer Rondos. That's volume one or two. Okay, so this is a drill from that. And this one is called the sliding square. All right, now this is a setup. So all you do is set up a square, probably about 15 by 15 yards, 20 by 20, depends on how many players you've got. And you can play 3v1 up to 5v1 works best. So in this case, you've got five blue players versus the one defender. Then over in this other square, you've got 5v1. Okay, so then you just put a cone there, one cone in the middle. So the area is split into four areas. Now, it's just a simple rondo. So same rule. So it's just keepings off. All players can move around inside the area. And uh, the defender has to try and win the ball. All right. So if they win the ball, they swap with another player. So uh, that's the basic rules of a rondo. Uh, the change up on this is that after uh, I usually make it five passes, that team slides into another empty square. Okay. So they've got to um, be aware and keep their wits about them. So in this case, if the blue team has five passes, then they can move into that empty square or that empty square. And while that's going on, the other team's playing at the same time. And if they make five passes, they can move in into an empty square. So players have to be aware of their surroundings, see where the other team has moved into. All right. Um, apart from that, it's the same uh, things that you're looking for uh, in a rondo, which is passing to the player's furthest foot. So keep it away there so that they can pass forward if they need to. You want quick passes, try and keep it a one or two touch. And you want this defender really pressing, trying to win the ball back as quickly as they can. You can play it two ways. You can either swap the defender over straight away as soon as they win the ball, or you can keep them in for a set amount of time, keep them in for one minute and then swap it around or 30 seconds. Okay, going to keep these short and sharp. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully you can use these at your training sessions. Um, like I said, all my books have got heaps of drills in them. So if you need to get some coaching advice and coaching drills for your training sessions for any amateur coaches just um head over to amazon pick up one of these books or also my website um just search chris king soccer on google and uh you'll find me everywhere um okay um sorry yeah so there we go um yeah so that's on amazon anyway that'll do thanks for watching guys and catch you later how do i end this thing